Body condition scoring may be one of the most practical management tools that we have available to us in the cow-calf uh, industry today. It's a very simple, subjective uh, visual appraisal system. Uh, the system that's generally, that's widely accepted is a, is a scoring system from one to nine, where one is extremely, extremely thin, typically associated with some kind of either malnutrition or a health concern. On the other end of that spectrum is a nine, which most of us would recognize as a very obese cow. Uh, typically, some production issues there as well, probably hasn't calved in quite a period of time, or maybe has just taken very, very well, very, very good care of. Uh, in terms of nutrition. Uh, the most important scores on, about, on the one to nine system typically are, are from about body condition score three uh, to about a six or seven. Uh, we, we know again based on uh, tons and tons of research, we know that these cows need to be in a body condition score five at calving if we hope to maximize their chances of rebreeding and calving again in a 365 day interval. It's not economically, if we wait until cows are already in lactation with a calf at side, it's not economically feasible to, tr to appreciably change body condition score because we know that's a period of, of highest nutrient demand in that cow's productive uh, annual production cycle. So as we look at some of these cows here today, I think the way that the, the places I look, certainly as I appraise these cows, uh, I think we want to look and in, in, in the way I teach the system is, if you look at a cow and you see ribs, we're thinking body condition score four or less. If I look at a cow and I see no ribs, I'm thinking body condition score five or greater. I think the other places that we assess condition, we can look in the brisket for, the, the, for distension or fat deposition in the brisket. Certainly we can look over those ribs. Again, as I've already mentioned, if I look at a cow and, and see no ribs, I'm thinking a five or greater. If we see ribs on those cows, and typically those ribs will become visible as you move from the, the last rib or the 13th rib towards the shoulder. If we look there and see that 12th or 13th rib, the rest of them are covered, we're thinking of four, maybe less. We can look down that top line and how well covered uh, their, their vertebra are. If we see sharpness down the top line, uh, those transverse vertebral processes sticking up, that's a good indication that that cow is probably a four or less that we can look out over those, those uh, loin edges, the spinous processes of those vertebrae, if they're very sharp and flat up over that loin from that between the last rib and the hip, if they're sharp out over those loin edges, again, that's an indicator that that cow is in thinner condition. And then certainly how well covered she is up over her hip, from her hooks to her pins, the amount of fat deposition or the thinness around that tail head is a really good indicator and, and gives us a clue as to where she fits on that one to nine condition scoring. Uh, one to nine body condition scoring system. We've got a really nice set of cows here today, a lot of diversity in terms of condition and breed type uh, and physiological status. So let's take a look at these cows today uh, and see if we can point out some of the things that we'd look for in terms of body condition scoring this particular set of cows. Let's start with this little brownish black ring-eyed ball faced cow. Remember the, the, the starting point is, at least in my opinion, the starting point is to start with ribs. Do we see ribs or not? I think certainly you can appreciate in this cow, you can see those last two or three ribs. So we're thinking this cow is a four or less. As we look down her top line, she's still fairly smooth down her top line. We don't see those, those transverse processes of her vertebrae sticking up like the fins on a fish. She's got some smoothness and roundness out over those loin edges. She's still got a little cover around her tail head over her hook bones. She's got some cushioning around her pins and a little bit of fat deposition around that tail head. Uh, so to me, this cow uh, would fit fairly, fairly neatly in that body condition score four. As we look at this little black cow you can, uh, with a white stocking on her left hind leg, uh, a cow that you can certainly begin to see more of a skeletal outline than, than some of the cows, the heavier conditioned cows that we've looked at. You can appreciate the, the, the definition between where her neck ties into her shoulder. You can see her shoulder blades beginning to, to pop up there along her top line. You can appreciate certainly the fact that she's, get, that she's a little sharper down her top line. Uh, she does have an extremely t high tail set that doesn't necessarily come into play in terms of her body condition. A cow that's beginning to get a little tucked up in her rear flank, she's really neat, clean and tight up there in her brisket. Uh, you still don't see many, you, you don't see evidence of ribs from this angle, 
uh, a cow that I think uh, is you consider the tightness and, and hardness up there in her shoulder, uh, the, how clean and tight she is in her brisket. She's beginning to get a little tucked up in her rear flank. Uh, she's sharp down her top line. A cow that to me is right there on the borderline between a condition score three and four. The fact that we don't see any ribs in this cow, I think we have to call her, if we had to call it one or the other, we call her a body condition score four today. Okay, as we evaluate this little black cow, we start and look there for evidence of ribs, and I think you can appreciate uh, that you can see those last couple of ribs, so we're thinking body condition score four or less. As we look at this cow, if we wanna start on her front end, and we appreciate the fact that she's very clean and tied up there in her brisket, her shoulder still got a little bit of cover, a little bit of condition over it. She's still got some condition down that top line. Uh, she's got some condition back there around her hook bones. She's beginning to get a little sharp up over uh, her tail head. Not a, no evidence of, of a condition back there in her rear flank. So I think as we consider it all, and the fact that we can see those last two or three ribs, uh, this cow is probably in a body condition score of four today. Okay, as we consider this Charlotte cow, again, evaluating her using our, our primary uh, evaluation tool, and again, realizing this is a European, continental European kind of cow, heavier muscle. We start there at that last rib, and I think you can see uh, right there where that color uh, kind of changes on her side. You can see those last two or three ribs, so we're thinking uh, this cow is probably a four or less. You can appreciate that the, this cow is a little bit harder up in her shoulder. You can see that more definition in her shoulder. Uh, she wants to be, you, you can see the outline of that shoulder a little better than some of these cows that have got heavier condition. You can appreciate that she's beginning to sharpen just a tad down her top line. She's got a little bit of draw on her that you can see as she moves away there uh, in front of her hip. Uh, she's still got some distension and some fleshiness up over that, that tail head, uh, up over the top of her hip and around her tail head, uh, but she's certainly beginning to sharpen up over that tail head as well. Uh, the fact that we can see ribs, there's no distension up there in her brisket. She's pretty hard and well-defined in her shoulder. Uh, you can see those last two or three ribs, the sharpness down her top line that's becoming apparent. I think this cow would be pretty solidly right there in a body condition score of four. The bigger Brahmin influence cow there, the ball faced cow uh, with some white in her underline. I think again, as we apply that initial evaluation, we don't see any ribs on this cow. So we're thinking that she's gonna be a five or greater. Uh, this cow again, very, very, very smooth up over her shoulder. You don't see any evidence of her shoulder blade there. Uh, she's very smooth up over her shoulder, flat down her top line. Again, got some conditioning up over around her, her hook bones, some, some flesh in there between her hooks and her pins, some fullness around. Uh, around her tail set. Uh, she's got just a tad bit of flat fat you can see there in her brisket. Uh, she's certainly not distended in her brisket, but she does have some fat deposition there. So when I look at the fat deposition in her brisket, her smoothness and, and uh, flatness down her top line, smoothness over her shoulder, the fat deposition up over the top of her hip and around her tail head, and the fact that I don't see any ribs, I would call this cow a body condition score of five. 